Welcome back to Let's Play Sword of the Stars. I'm Hunter Black Luna. Notice the rankings. Merciful ones are in first. They're better than the Zool. That cool picture again. System update. And we're in. Sir, we have an incoming bogey. I wish there was an option to tell them to stop telling me that if I've if I know and I can see and shit. But just keep that in mind. Also, the Leer are launching an attack on Egoon. Now I feel like kind of a jackass for wasting all my ships in the region. Because I'm sure they would be very helpful. When are you guys going to arrive? You're going to be there in one turn. You're going to be there in one turn. I don't know. We do have a cruiser here. Fuck it. Not like they're gonna be doing anything sitting there anyway. Navcom program. Might as well go help out the fight. Send you guys over. Yes, sir. Fleet on heading alpha. Maybe have some decent reinforcements ready. Alright. Ah yes. Our Shikigami class dreadnought has been constructed. Our modded command systems are three turns away. That's something of a problem considering the enemy fleet is four turns away. We might just have to content ourselves with a command cruiser for this encounter. I'm not gonna be happy about that either. Construction order placed, Commander. Considering if they have a command dreadnought, oh uh things could get bad. Course plotted, engaging node drive. You know what, if you're gonna take that long, then you won't be relevant to this anyway, so just... Fleet moving out. Awadu's fine. What are you building? Another heavy platform? That's fine with me. Tizecto. You can't build medium defenses, or heavy defenses, which makes sense. Um... Now, Pochak itself... Do I want a second Dreadnought? Who the hell am I kidding? Um, what to put on it though, or more specifically, what variant to build? Gotta go with the blazer. Construction project initiated. Also, Lon Kana is now fourth. So aside from their dreadnought, I mean, that looked to be their only trick. 16 of their cruisers against 15 of ours and 5 destroyers. Probably won't go well. But we'll do something to these assholes. Better throw them away now to do some damage. Maybe even let the Leer retake this world at some point. Even though their attacks are in too small numbers. But I've observed that behavior from pretty much every AI. The only one that doesn't make an attack with like seven ships is probably the Mordegi. We can probably forgive the Tarkas because those six ships they're sending at us, uh, more than likely a couple dreadnoughts in there, and those uh, those count more than regular ships. Looks like we have our whole destroyer lineup first. All right, hit spacebar if the camera's being a little. Where's our friends? Get over there at your max speed. Maybe we'll even soak up some enemy planetary missiles with our point defense. The Lear aren't gonna run away from this one though. They want a piece of this. Lear cruisers. In fact, that one looks like a command cruiser just based on little starship uh, starfish things. Oh, yeah. Ready, Commander. Corrosive acid. You want to try to drag the idiot Zool through these acid clouds and not let yourself get dragged through like I have been doing. Just as an ideal. Looks like the Zool are mounting heavy stormers as well. 
heavy combat lasers. Our weapons tech is actually a little behind the curve, disturbingly enough. Once we get our mana command systems, we need to get better weapons. Yep, planetary missiles are targeting us. Or just their heavy platforms. So where's our point defense? Hmm. Taking it EG. I guess we made like no I guess we made like no impression at all. Let's go that way so we don't get hit by the platforms, guys. And we're gonna bump this up to 2x speed, guys. Also, if we automate, then the Zul will win overwhelmingly just because of the way automation works. At least here the Leer will inflict casualties. Don't. Don't doubt it. Alright, our only dog in the fight is our cruiser. The merciful ones lose all their ships? Can't be. Ha! <laughs> Heavy stormers at the missile. That's actually pretty badass. Wow, we did like nothing against the Zul. We've just been so ineffective generally. It's system update. I'd call it humiliating. Course plotted. Engaging node drive. Another dreadnought next turn. We can't field two at the same time with a uh, cruiser level command ship, which is lame. Oh. The Normandy then. Aye, Commander. We will have those ships out in no time. Enemy scout fleet headed here. Well. Navigation set course. We can do that and forget about it, just like these guys. Be here in two turns. Why aren't our aides freaking out about that? Three turns. How long does it take to get from Pochak? Only takes us one turn once we're mustered there. Alright. And more Kievs. Construction order placed. Otherwise we can let the savings accumulate for a little while. Buy now and let the savings accumulate. Looks like the Hivers decided to go poke the enemy. Um I don't think that's smart. System update. Ships in Not to be insulting about it, of course. Research successfully completed, sir. Oh, nice. Armada Command Systems is ours, everybody. All right. Dreadnought level command ships. Advanced Dreadnought Engineering lets us get electronic warfare modules, and I'm pretty sure it will lead to even nicer stuff. Deep Space Constructors, let us build platforms, I think. Torpedo Defense Platforms would be nice. These AI technologies would be nice too, I gotta be honest. Increased Industrial Capacity? Oh man. Although, god, they're using torpedoes too. We are gonna pick up Plasma Torpedo, and then Fusion Torpedo if we have it. Then we're going to pick up some of these other technologies like lancers, particle beams. And also, you know what? No, let's grab FTL Economics. Full funding received, sir. Thank I you. I have been criminally neglecting this area. You can really jack your income. Uh, the good form of jack. Two dreadnoughts in this fleet. Not to mention the fleet we have massing here. I'm tempted to jam this into the enemy homeworld so hard. Only two turns away. It's not much time for them to call for reinforcements, I gotta say. It is enough time for them to react, though. In case the enemy launches a strike on our worlds, three to four turns. 
And I know we'll pick them up in time for that, even if they're Mordegi. So, eh. I guess Junhao is a nice, ideal fleet base. You guys. Course plotted, engaging Let's go to no water. drive. Huh, you guys built a halberd. Good job. Keep building destroyers. I commander. We will have those ships out in no Design time. Design time, everybody. Oh yeah, and it comes to my attention that I don't think this is how you spell juggernaut. I am going to confirm that using the power of the internets at some point, but I'm pretty sure it's not without the GH, which is weird because that's usually how you think that it would be spelled. But no. Old juggers might need a tiny revision. I wish we had other heavy weapons than heavy stormers. Heavy stormers are badass, but... Looking it up right now. In the meantime, we can design a command ship. We may. Armada CNC. Oh yeah. Hmm. Now the thing is, this ship can't sit back and plink missiles at the enemy. Because it's too damn expensive and big. If we're going to build one, it's going to need to go in there and rough things up. Hmm. I will give it lots of point defense, though. Maybe make these UV lasers? Eh, that's reasonable. Give it some light laser. Yeah, Juggernaut is spelled wrong. I just have confirmation. Ah, oh, Stormers. Tempted to make these like dumb fire missile racks. Or mass drivers. Yeah, we're gonna go with mass drivers and I don't know, stormers are better though. Whatever, I'm just derping around right now. Do we really need an assault module on this thing? giving it a standard command module would be a lot cheaper and this thing doesn't really need heavy combat lasers I don't know let's go with a battle bridge so it'll get stormers and some HC lasers I don't know this thing is a planet bomber probably you know what that's fine you the monarch. Yes, sir. Ship design ready for well, construction. Bam. Yep. Any other interesting things that we haven't looked at yet? Uh, the answer to that, by the way, is no. Except for assault shuttles. Uh, assault shuttles are designed to attack planets. Well, not point defense on this thing, cause eh. Oh, let's let's turn some out and see how it goes. Ah, uh, the hammerheads are so cheap on these smaller designs. Let's just go with F node fusion. Call you the Lexington. Lexington. Design entered into naval archives. Give it a try, maybe. And change the design. Then change it back how it was. Yes, sir. Ship design ready. And for it's like my spelling error never happened except for these ships that have been churned out that already have that designation. Whatever. Uh Yeah, we're gonna need at least two turns for the command ship. Yep. I commander. We will have those ships out Whatever. in Whatever, no starting time. construction on it's a good idea anyway. Yes, sir. Please Just go straight to a Zek bin, everybody. 
Aye, sir. We're just gonna have to hope that's adequate. It probably is. Dreadnoughts are tough anyway. Malos, ah, uh, one of those scout punks. System. Where we punk the scout. Intruder fleet. Yeah. <laughs> they really are gonna complete the journey to Cheprin in 29 turns instead of hooking back into their gate network. Like a sensible person. I didn't look at the casualty reports. The battle at Malos. It wasn't a uh, tough battle. Yeah, let's build a Mjolnir. Construction project let's initiated. Let's rock, Tarkas. Huh. All cruisers. Certainly odd. <laughs> also, oh man, totally simming this battle. System update. And we've gone over budget. You go over budget a lot more on cheap tax. They died. Our allies didn't lose a single ship. It's pretty rare when you're fighting cruisers. We didn't even take any damage. Drives that is a full. very good experience. I want some more point defense destroyers available to this fleet. Aye, Commander. We will have those ships out in no time. Good stuff. And we can stop guarding Malos. Wherever it is. Ah, right there. Yes, sir. Fleet Reinforce at Joan Howe, why don't you? And I'd like some Londons, because I said so. Construction order placed. Gotta Commander. expand the fleet, don't you know? System update. There we go. Over time and over budget, but at least we finally have this. It tech took you guys director. three years to figure out how to take an FTL drive and put it on a big crate and send stuff to sell to other races. Commerce rating. We don't even have proof that they're trading yet, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Holographic tactics is nice. It just gives you more command points. But, integrated sensors. This lets you see the sensor data from allies and stuff, basically. We're going to be picking up a little bunch of little techs now. Yes, Commander. We've had our eyes in the sky for too long. Now we can build a new class of ships, and we're going to be building them everywhere as soon as we work up a design. Uh, yeah, they're destroyer classes. Now I'm going to have to scroll through destroyer lists. I don't think I like that, but all these things could be useful, so I'm not going to abandon them yet. Uh, freighter. Luckily, we don't have to do any design work past that. Uh, let's just call you freighter. We'll save the noble names for naval design ships. Design entered into naval say. archives. And a police cutter. We'll put missiles on you. Police cutters defend your trade routes. And it keeps the peace. It's a morale building thing. Yes, sir. Ship Police design cutter. Ready for construction. Usually I don't do that, but eh. Can't get large freighters though. That's a specific tech and I'm not sure it's on our tree. All right. First things first. Also, you should build like 400 freighters. I commander. We will have those Each ships freighter increases in your time. income by a bit. Construction Let's project. Get every initiated. single one of our worlds up to a point building these things. 3 each. And then we'll look at the budget, and you'll see what a difference it makes. 
Construction order, the enemy please, were Commander. raiding the Lear earlier, though. Something to keep in mind. Not quite sure why I neglected trade. Shipyards Usually I'm not up. too bad about that. I understand the necessity to get these things out. Aye, Commander. We will have Who those knows? ships out in no time. Um... Yeah, and we'll save further Dreadnought level construction orders for later. The Hivers outspeed us in normal space. Now there's something beaten in a race by a Hiver. Ooh. System update. Tarkas are getting fris frisky at Uxmal. Um, that's where most of our fleet is. I don't know, guys. I don't know. What I do know is we can't get there with our command dread on in time. Because I didn't think of moving it there. We can't be there with the fleet, though. That should prove... To either deter them or just kill them when they get here. Frankly, either one would be okay with me. There's an old style juggernaut, maybe something will happen to it. Yeah, I make the leap to Amsty. Oh man, I would love to put a few dreadnoughts up these fuckers' face. As long as we don't let them launch boarding pods. Oh god. System update. We have made a breakthrough. Oh commander. my. Four ships. Not even. Course plotted. Engaging node drive. Even if they're Zul and even if they're cruisers. Alright, freighters have been built. Everywhere. And we got integrated sensors on time. Holy shit. Advanced command control. Allows you to select ships and give them orders from the tactical sensor screen. That sounds pretty cool. Hmm, is it worth it? Ah. I can just give them orders in the regular screen. It doesn't really add that much. Data correlation allows us to make intel reports on the enemy. What I love is that these technologies don't, like, increase some random arbitrary stat. Like, these things have an honest, like, utility. And you can weigh that against other things. Mega freighters. Cruiser-sized freighters. Good stuff is what I'm trying to say. I don't know, guys. I'm thinking weapons technology. Oh yes, I am. I'd research more AI techs, but AI and AI administration are probably enough. We don't have AI virus, which is a tech you only have a 30% chance of getting. And it lets you stop AI rebellions by uh, killing them. Gamma warhead or fusion warhead? Hmm, here's a question. Does it only use the best warhead tech? Let's hedge our bets. Research computers online. I can't foresee a day we won't be launching missiles at the enemy. So antimatter is only 24 turns with the budget and the the good stuff we put into it. What does gluonic torpedo do? Good range and accuracy rate of fire. Penetrate shields. Something to look into. Fusion warhead first, though. And I promised you we would have a look at the budget. Extra 6,000 savings per turn. Each freighter costs, like, what, 30, 40,000 in savings? So in a very small number of turns, 
you can see how they will pay for themselves. We're getting 500,000 at the treasury every turn. That's actually a really good amount. Uh, more freighters, please. Construction project That's initiated. Good stuff. London's. Where are they headed? Lucis? Yeah. Engines to power, I. <laughs> you guys can get there in time. What else do we need over there? Command Dreadnought. Shipyard. Will that even get there in time? Oh, it will. I'll be damned. How about you? Actually, the most direct route using nodes would be through Markov. Let's try. Aye, Commander. We will have those ships out in no time. Adarask. Lol, 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 lol. Egoon. They are attacking again. I would observe, but eh. Update. Sir, massive wow, what scope. the hell happened? I mean, just what the hell? Adarask? When exactly as predicted? I can now move these Kievs to the front. Course plotted. Engaging node drive. Alright, our fleet is there. At least I remember to send out the monarch and its stuff from uh, Pochak. Hell, in fact, it's there. Fleet moving wow. Out. They are going hard at that colony. This will be the place to be, actually. I want... Uh... Can't spend eight years deliberating it. A hey, correct juggernaut. Construction project Everywhere initiated. Else? Freighters, please. Construction order placed, Commander. Foreign trade is an interesting one. I'm thinking that's a Lear freighters plying our space. Also, now that we have trade, we can see trade routes. Uh, yeah, Trade View splits the universe up into nice, tidy sectors. And it tells you detailed economic crap about everything you couldn't possibly want to know. So that's good. Tizecto. You as well should be cranking freighters. If you're not producing military ships for military purposes, uh, then do this. I commander. You, you can have seriously have like 500 no freighters. When we get mega freighters, oh man, man, oh man, oh man. All right, when will that? First Tarkus fleet be there. Two turns? Will we actually get the command ship there? Looks like we will, but we won't be able to sort out our order of battle. Wait, is the Monarch in that fleet? No, it's not. It's on route. Never mind. Mission! Raiders directly attacking a planet? It's the Lear homeworld, too. Uh. Sure. Let's make sure our colony ship doesn't get killed if that's possible. This has got to be a random event. Could, either that or the Zul are funding these raiders, but I don't know. Because, I mean, obviously you can commission commerce rating, and it's got the same symbol. Uh, 
Oh dear. Alright, colony ship. Move as far away as you possibly can. Just don't get killed. You really are quite expensive. And as you can see, we can now see the sensor data from allied ships and not just allied worlds. It's nice. Somebody's having themselves a brawl over here. Ooh, that's embarrassing. However, we know those aren't our destroyers. Just simply because, uh... By the way, these are freighters. We know those aren't our destroyers simply because they're using green lasers. We haven't used green lasers on anything, even our Zul front fleet. I don't know how the enemy got their hands on these destroyers, though. These are freighters. We're gonna speed this process up. Where the hell are our planetary missiles? Also, man, colony ships are slow. Nice view of the planet, though. Well, your planets are so pretty. I think our planets are pretty, too, with the white cities. See, the time just flies by, really. While you're getting killed by pirates brutally. I have no clue. Usually these sorts of radar attacks appear out in deep space. We have to withdraw momentarily, Commander. I just don't know what the hell. System update. Mines of Ori Calcum. Research? Boarding Success pods technology. Completed, sir. Now that's interesting. Also, antimatter warheads are just... It's pretty obvious they're the best. Oh, fuck. They're Kievs. That is seriously embarrassing. Especially since the Lear lost a goddamn ship to it. I think it was a freighter, though. Fuck off, raiders. Anyway, we're ready for the Tarkas. That fleet actually did stop an FTL. Wait, that's a different fleet. Well, anyway. Budget's looking better. 30,000 from trade income. Not an insignificant amount. Alright, new research goals. I'll tell you what. How much is, uh... Antimatter warheads? Eight turns. Looks like that will be the ideal. I don't think I'm gonna get those. The enemy are using... Torpedo weapons. We could always go for shield and see how that works. Tempting. But for right now, yeah, we're going to go for Plasma Torpedo. Another Full cheap one. Here's our honest sir. budget. Thank you. Still not looking bad. You've been hit by raiders. No, we weren't. Alright, the Zul are still coming. Hang on, wait. Where's the fleet of four ships? They're all going to Lucis or... These guys are going to Awadu. Two turns to Awadu. Yeah, they've got a no network set up there. We're going to ask the Hivers to help defend this place. Since it doesn't look like we'll have much in position there. Either way. I really hope the Hivers help us out. Alliance. Defend. Awadu. ASAP. Merciful Ones will defend Awadu. Oh, they've got platforms in place as well as their ships and a couple of our destroyers, which, as we've demonstrated, do precisely jack shit to the enemy. Alright, a Caban Dreadnought and a Shikigami. 
And for Shipyards everyone else, getting up. freighters are still the order of the day. Aye, Commander. We will have those ships out in no time. Oh, interface. Home world. Construction project initiated. You could certainly get me out a couple of these. Does anything have higher industrial output than the home world? It looked like some random world did. Nah. It would be tough to do. I think we're saturating some of our trade routes. That's fine though. That's it's an okay issue to have, put it that way. Well, on the eve of a major battle, this looks like a good place to leave it off, everybody. Thank you for watching. Let's play Sword of the Stars. I'm Hunter Black Luna. I'll see you guys next time.